Go ahead and type in Google what to do on the Mac, how to do this, how to use this feature. That's exactly what I did. And here is a set of questions which are repeating very often. And I decided to make a video about it to give you quick answers on these questions. It will not be anything detailed, I already have many videos separately on each of these questions. But let's have a quick overview about it. First very common question is how to do a screenshot. And it can be such the old way also, how to make a print screen. It's actually very simple on the Mac, because shift Command 3 will make the screenshot of your entire screen. You are done. But also, very common is to ask how to screen record on the Mac. Let me quickly answer that as well. Well, just edit the previous shortcut a bit. Instead of Shift Command 3, press Shift Command 5 and the screenshot tool will appear. Here you will have all the controls and settings for your screenshots and also for screen recording. What do you think I'm doing right now? Exactly screen recording that I can make these videos for you. Well, this question is probably not just about hashtag, but about many other special characters you type on the keyboard. The tricky thing is that in different countries on different keyboards you type it differently. I do a hashtag with option free, while on the American keyboard it's a shift free. But let me show you how to find all of these easily. You just need to open up System Preferences, go to Keyboard section and here switch to Input Sources tab. Here you will find your keyboard with all of the characters. And look at it, when I press Shift, it changes to reflect what characters I can type using Shift. And with Option key, I have the hashtag here, or the Euro or Dollar sign. And if I switch to American keyboard, and now press shift key, it's different than the previous one. So if you need to type anything special on your keyboard, don't google it, because it will not be relevant to your language. You just need to go to system preferences, go to keyboard and test it for yourself. Connected to these special characters are emojis, and also how to write subscript and superscript. There is actually a cool way how to do this using the emoji viewer, so let's start with this. To activate it, press Ctrl Command Space. Or it can be usually found in the edit menu on top, but Ctrl Command Space is easy. Anyway, in this view, you can select any emoji or symbol to just simply insert it in the text. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can use superscript numbers from here as well. For example, number 2 squared. So again, open emoji viewer, Ctrl Command Space and type the number 2 in here. And there are a lot of variations of this number, including the superscript and subscript version. So you can just click on it and add it to your document. One last thing about the keyboard in this video, then we will move on. And the question is about F keys. Where I can find F keys on my MacBook keyboard? And especially, do I have any if I have a keyboard with a touch bar? It's easy to find out. If you look at the keyboard and press the F and key, it changes. It changes to show the F keys. If it doesn't on your keyboard, it's easy to set it up. You again need to go to System Preferences, to Keyboard Settings, and here select Show F keys if you press and hold the FN key. Another frequently asked question about Mac is how to sign a document or how to edit it. It's very simple, I actually have a separate video about it, so let's go quickly through it. First, open up a document. And here press this button, it's called Markup Tool. And here in the middle is icon for signature. If you don't have any signature here yet, you can press create and use one of the free offered methods for doing it. And after that, you will have your signature created here all the time and you can just click on it and place it anywhere in your document. How to Ctrl Alt Delete? Well again, this is a question coming from the old Windows computers. You would perform this combination when some application got stuck or the whole system. So you could manually reset it or you could manually close these frozen applications. 
On the Mac you can do it as well, it's a bit different. It has shortcut Command Option Escape, but it's not very common that apps will freeze on the Mac, so you don't really need to remember the shortcut. For me it's easier to visit the Apple menu on top when it happens, it's right here, for Squid. So you don't need to learn the shortcut, you can just click here and close the application which is misbehaving. Well, if you use external mouse, then it's obvious, you have the buttons there. But if you are just using trackpad on your MacBook, then it's not as simple because you don't have any buttons there. Well, anyway, on the Mac it doesn't exist, the right click doesn't exist. It's actually called the secondary click. And you can perform it by double tapping. It, using two fingers to tap on your trackpad should do a secondary click. To set it up, you can go again to system preferences and this time go to trackpad and here you have options for secondary click. So as I said, it's a click or tap with two fingers. We can also set other variations, but for sure this one is the best. On Windows you can easily place two apps side by side to nicely see them and work on them. On the Mac you can do the same and you can actually do a little bit more than that, let me show you. First, you need to go over this green button, just hover there over a second and it offers you to tile window to the left or right. So press on that and the app will move to the side you choose and now you can select another app to put on the other side. To be honest, I don't really like this because in this mode it covers the menu bar and the dock and if you want to exit this view, you need to go again to this green button and press it. Well, there is another more convenient way. Again it starts with the green button, but this time press the option key on your keyboard and you will see it says move window to the left or right instead of tile window which was there before. What it actually does is to move the window to the left side and covers exactly half of the screen. So I can move another window to the other half. Now I can easily work in both windows, have access to dock and I can move these windows anytime I want. Now if you are using Macs for some time, you might be laughing about this question. But how to copy and paste is really one of the most searched questions on Google. It is probably by people who just recently switched from Windows to Mac and they are a bit confused about these two buttons we have on the keyboard, which is Control and Command. Well on Windows you use Control for doing all of these things, you Control C, but on the Mac the primary modifier key is actually command. So if you want to copy something, you need to select it, press command C, then go to another location and press command V to paste it there. So remember, all of these things you do on the Mac, they are called commands, so you use the command key for it. To find the serial key of your MacBook is again very simple. You all know that, right? Well, if you are subscribed to this channel for some time or you have enrolled in one of my courses, this is very simple for you. But if you are new here, let me show you how to do that. Well, all the information about Mac you will find under the Apple menu. So click on this icon here and the first option is about this Mac. On the first tab is the serial number among many other things. Well, another place to find the number is on the bottom of your Mac. It should be written there as well. So this was the list of the most asked questions about Mac. Do you have another question which I didn't answer here? Well, let me know about it in the comments so we can discuss it there or I can make another video about it. And also, if you are enjoying this kind of videos and if you learned something new, leave me a like below to let me know so I can make similar videos for you. Anyway, here is Luke and I hope to see you in the next video.